I'm Lavinia Collins. And I'm Marissa Sparra, and we're from Innovation Academy Charter School. This lab teaches the sublimation of caffeine, which you can use to teach the phase change unit or separation of mixtures. The lab involves the extraction and isolation of caffeine from caffeine tablets, followed by the recrystallization. After recrystallization, you can either let it air dry overnight or put it in a drying oven. And when you're ready, you can put it on a hot plate to sublimate. Hi, this is Nathan George, and I'm also from Innovation Academy Charter School, located in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. I will be detailing the process of extraction and crystallization of caffeine. First, we crushed up four caffeine tablets. In this example, we used a mortar and pistol, but you can also put the tablets in between two pieces of paper and gently crush them using a jar or another tool. Then, you want to transfer the caffeine powder into a test tube. After measuring 10 milliliters of water in a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, you may transfer the 10 milliliters of water into the test tube with caffeine powder. Make sure to mix the test tube contents either by vortexing or in this case a glass stirring rod. Once you mix the contents of the test tube, place it into a hot water bath while it is heating to a boil. Frequently stir the solution with a glass stirring rod in the test tube while it is being heated. In the meantime, set up a funneling system by attaching a ring clamp to a ring stand and then securely placing a funnel in the center of the rig. Place a clean test tube below the funnel so that it captures all the liquids coming out of the funnel stem. Place a piece of filter paper in the tunnel and use a test tube holder or wear a cotton glove to pick up the test tube out of the hot bath and slowly pour the hot contents into the funnel. Once the filtering is done, Take the test tube with the filtered contents in it and place it in an ice bath. Make sure that none of the ice bath water enters the test tube. Carefully watch the test tube for any signs of crystal formations. Once crystals begin to form, which looks like cloudy areas in the solution, continue to let the caffeine fully recrystallize. Once the caffeine has fully recrystallized, which looks like this test tube, you may pour the solution with crystals quickly into the funnel. If the crystals stick to the side of the test tube, Rinse the test tube with water, but only use a few milliliters of water so as not to dilute the caffeine too much. Carefully transfer the filter paper into another beaker, or in this case, a petri dish, and you may let it air dry or use an oven. Finally, transfer the dried crystals of the caffeine into a petri dish for sublimation. The lab is written using a glass petri dish, so if you follow it as written, your results will look like this. If you don't have a glass petri dish, you can use two nested beakers that will look like this. 